Hey everybody, quick update on me. Uh, I checked my blood ketones last night and I'm still in ketosis. And uh, my glucose has steadily been going down. All right, uh, as I said in my last video, it was uh, it was like 130 something right before I I, uh, I just had had enough of stress hormones getting keeping my glucose jacked and uh, wanted to get rid of my stress hormones by eating carbs, which is what they're used for. And my glucose has steadily been going down while I'm maintaining fat uh, metabolism. So did it work? Yes. Why did it work? It's because I am not a culty. I am somebody who has a fully stocked tool shed and I need to use the tool for the job. If you dial back to a video that I made where uh, I run down everything that I eat for the course of a day, it's a day in the life. Not a lot of MCTs coming in. That's because I'm steadying the stage like two weeks ago to be doing a cyclic carb load. Um, if my stress hormones were not going to allow glucose to cooperate, then I got to let go. Can't beat a dead horse. There's a difference between being in love with someone and being in love at someone. And I knew that the relationship was only one way. I was in love at ketosis and ketosis was not in love with me. So, uh, and I've like, I've put, I've put clients on keto diets and they've responded better than me. And that's awesome. That's great for them. I've got, uh, one person who adapted to full blown nutritional ketosis in 12 days. So I know my stuff and, uh, and, and I'm, I'm have been very scientific with the whole thing. Um, so, uh, you gotta use a tool for the job. Uh, insulin is a hormone that spikes. It's not the hormone that spikes. Another law about insulin, as fast as it goes up, it comes back down. So the two things that are gonna cause fat storage within regards to insulin is keeping it jacked up. And how do you keep it jacked up? You keep taking in lots of carbs. So you either eat like piles of, uh, of uh, low glycemic carbs you know, after you haven't had any and your body's just so sensitive that it will take, uh, you know, that oatmeal or black beans or whatever, and your insulin will go up to a level that's higher than what it's been in days or weeks or whatever, uh, and you will store fat. So when you eat high, high glycemic carbs, they're dosed out and they don't come in again, then insulin is one of the hormones that spikes and plummets. But what are some other hormones that raise? Growth hormone, leptin, and thyroid, T3. So, it's useful. You have a desired response to keep the fat burning hormones in check, to keep them elevated, and to make sure that stress hormones go away. I'll give you an example. What are comfort foods? If you think, think back, like just think around, like atypical comfort foods, what are they? It's stuff like brownies, macaroni and cheese, you know, things that are like really high in what carbs, because the body knows to get rid of stress hormones, you eat carbs, but it's up to you to know how to use them. So stuff like macaroni and cheese is just like absolutely horrible because GMO processed bleached wheat, you know, to make the, the pasta and you're getting, you know, radioactive gross cheese with it. That's, you, you know, you don't really want to mix uh, fats and, and carbs, especially high glycemic ones. Ugh. Anyways, that's another conversation. So don't be in love at your diet. Don't be a culty. Um, be more scientific. And just like my, my entire philosophy with fitness is, you know, learn how to, how to communicate with your body. When as for as long as I've been coaching people and helping them and personal training, uh, my whole objective is to teach people their communicative abilities with their body. It's not, not, I don't want to be a messiah. And if you check back on any of my videos, I don't, I'm not talking down to my viewers. And I'm only putting up my videos because I'm just trying to share what I got going on. And I'm always looking to learn more. Um, do not have a one shoe uh, approach. One shoe does not fit all. 
Someone's got high arches. Someone's got bunions. Okay? Someone's got big old feet. So don't don't go on with all that stuff. But uh, yeah, so like and comment the video and I'm gonna give you an update because I'm actually due for another carb load now, but I can't do it because tomorrow's a rest day. So that's gonna come with another update. Thanks, bye.